afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another Propaganda Castle with me, your host, Imperial Dane, here. Well, there's obviously no one else, so, you know, maybe a bit to purpose to point that one out. But we're off to have a look here at the Sunderkraft Vertex 500 scene. Or anything, something like that. There's a flak half track available for the Germans. It's a bit different in several regards compared to the American variant. In fact, though, a bit cheaper in terms of fuel, though not an awful lot on manpower-wise, it's also pretty much the same. It's also a bit unique, unlike the other one, is it actually has a setup time. Which rather then rather requires that you be a bit more careful in how you actually utilize it. I mean, it can't find the move, and it actually takes a few seconds to set up, but also move again. So in that regard, it's not something you, for example, should be operating with on its own. It can very easily be all wormed or cleared up that way if you're not careful. A few hits, and that's going to be good night, Friedrich. So that's a very important thing to keep in mind while making use of the flak half-track as the Orba Commando Vest. And generally, you always want someone to lead the way to so ensure you don't get immediately rushed and cleared out. Also, another important thing to keep in mind is it actually doesn't have a lot of health. A few shots and it's gone. Or, and this of course is a bit the, uh, s the tricky point, is if you're actually fighting the Russians, a few anti-tank grenades and it's gone. That means you actually have to be very careful with it around the Russians because they can try to swarm it with the conscripts and knocking out that way. I mean, it does possess some pretty good range, suppressive fire and even some reasonably fire power. Now, there's one thing also to keep in mind. It's shots, currently at the very least, have a very nasty habit of getting sort of snagged up on uh, well, bits of terrain really so you can actually risk a lot of shots for example doing absolutely nothing so in that regard it's a bit of a thing to keep in mind you generally sort of want to deal with a larger more open amount of territory or at least something where there's less chance of sort of things getting caught up by the shots here otherwise again you will find bits one again you know keep in mind of retreat paths advanced paths all that again that time you have to sort of get out of there is very important. I mean, as it gets veterans, for example, it does become a bit faster in that department. That also helps it a bit, but even then you have to be a bit careful. And sort of looking at the veterans bonus at the first one, we actually get a smoke ability, which unlike every other smoke ability in the game like this one, anyways, the sort of focus on units actually free. And that's a small little beneficial thing, if anything. It sort of it gains sort of it gets faster set up, it gets more accuracy, higher rate of fire, which is good. You can even get more range and weapon penetration. And can sort of send be in the end be even more maneuverable. I mean, you know, a flag half tag is against for veterans becomes a reasonably powerful actually. It can become sort of very nasty anti infantry weapon and the likes. But again, you know, that rather requires you get in the first place. So anyone called in later in the game where it doesn't have a chance of veterans, for example, in particular, veterans one can get into a bit of trouble, so that's also something to keep in mind when using it. I mean, you have to be a bit more careful in particular when you call later in the game because, again, there's an even larger chance of basically being wiped out if you're not careful. And so you see a lot of players may be a bit reckless with it in those cases and actually quickly lose it. Because, again, it is very important to mind. It is not durable. It can suppress a unit if it catches out in the open pretty much instantly. It can also do a lot of damage, but, again, it can also end up because, again, mind you, all the train stuff actually do no damage. It's a bit of a... Um, tricky thing in that department. But overall, it can be a very powerful support weapon. In fact, it can sort of break up infantry assaults. If used properly, it can do a lot of damage, in fact, to your opponent's infantry. It can also do a lot of damage to, say, their vehicles. Armor, not so much, though. Well, maybe with a bit of veterans, you can sort of deal with it with rear-wise. But again, you know, it's very much a support weapon. A mobile one, with a good range, can sort of cover a lot of terrain. And certainly a hold back infantry in a more serious manner than an MG-34. But it is a bit expensive. And you have to sort of make very good use of it, otherwise you will end up wasting a lot of resources, which is the Orbital Commander Vest, of course. You can't quite afford. But so as soon as you do hit Veterans 1, you want to make use of concealing smoke as much as possible as anything that even remotely looks unpleasantly at your flak half track appears. You just want to pop smoke and you want to move to a safer position. I mean, it's very much, you know, in those cases, once the sort of fighting heats up, it's very much, you know, fire and then... Reposition, shoot, reposition, shoot, reposition. Or at least have something to sort of ensure it doesn't get immediately rushed. So it's a lot more of a tricky unit to use compared to, say, for example, the American A half tech, which you have as a comparison, of course, can shoot much faster. Its shots doesn't really get sort of snagged up on terrain either. You can say the auto deal to select with lighter vehicles a bit better. I mean, it has a lot of advantages, plus it's 
and Sammy Gaichi are more or less the same price. And of course, can shoot on the movement of machine guns. And the only advantage, I suppose, is more veterans see bonuses as sort of things go on, which actually helps its gun more than this one, which actually doesn't get a lot of those bonuses. Plus, of course, concealing smoke. So initially, this one's the American half tank is more powerful, but in the longer term, this one can in fact be more powerful. And it can really, you know, tear up infantry in particular. If your opponent blobs straight into it, your flag half tank can actually do a ton of damage and really tear through a lot of enemy units. But again, you know. As soon as things get ugly, you want to get out of there. It is very much a light vehicle. Heavy machine gun for very much a light vehicle. So I think that rather covers it here on the flat half tech. You know how to use it, how to get the most out of it, how to sort of try and avoid, you know, getting it wrecked by your vile and vicious opponent. And of course, also the differences from, say, its American counterpart. Again, this one sort of more immediate, sort of have the advantages. This one, in the longer term, if you can keep it alive, definitely then it has the advantages. It can also do a lot of damage to your opponent more directly in some regards, though it's not quite so as good as light versus light vehicles as this one. And so, in the duel between the two, it's going to be a lot tricky. It's going to basically come down to who discovers who first and some other small details there. Though this one can have a chance, though, again, if it's caught by the wrong spot footed here by this one, that one's going to win. So. It's a bit trickier in that department. Hopefully that should cover it for the flak half track, make people maps a bit more confident in using it. Though it's definitely not something you want to get every time. And certainly once if you're playing versus the Soviets, you want to be a lot more cautious about using it. But on the other hand, it can be a sort of quickly break up an infantry assault very heavily and very punishingly if under the right conditions. So that is also something to command. And again, remember, concealing smoke is very much your friend when it comes to this thing. I mean, as soon as you get Veterans 1, remember this ability. So, this is Appeal Dane saying thanks for watching, thanks for lynching, L listening, not lynching, that's a bit of another thing. But thanks for listening, and see you all tomorrow. Cheers!